Welcome back to the channel, lads. We're back with another TikTok reaction video. But this TikTok reaction video is dedicated to the life of mini Marcus Rashford. Now you're probably thinking, what, what do you mean, Josh? Dedicated to the life? Where's he gone? I can't explain what happened. But I'll show you. <sighs> Let's make this a good one for him, yeah? <laughs> I'm gonna get murdered. You guys are gonna kill me. <laughs> no! Yes, lads, and welcome back to the channel. And please, please, be gentle with me, okay? <laughs> I didn't mean to. I tried to be funny, and it went so wrong. But today, like I said, we are back with another TikTok Thursday, and there is now a dark, dark cloud over this video. Oh, Jesus. Right then, lads, out of fear for my life and what you guys are going to say about that, we're going to go straight into the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, smash the like button in memory of Billy Marcus Rashford. Oh. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm so, so sorry. Of course you do. Oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. I don't even know he's got his legs that high up. Can I try? <sighs> no, okay. I need to stop eating McDonald's. <laughs> Next up, back with Agent Blaze, my man. Vamos. Oh, the free Spider Man. I guess, I guess I'll see you. See you later. Mariana. Mariana Cross. Oh, see, that's a really nice TikTok video. It's, it's really just simple, but it's nice. That scene at the end of that movie got me heartbroken, though, because any of you guys who are into your Marvel and the Disney Plus series, I thought that pretty much confirmed that he was going to be in the final episode of Hawkeye, uh, the Disney Plus show, because obviously they threw past the Christmas tree that was in that show. But um, yeah, clearly not. EA Sports FC could be insane, says Blaze. Vamos. Insane news about EA Sports FC. Okay. Not only are we getting an online career mode, okay. we're getting cross-play platforms of pro clubs okay. and a big ultimate team revamp. And the game could be free. The game will not be free. There's the, the game will not be free. I hope it is, but the game will not be free. Online career mode sounds really cool, but it's literally will just be like normal career mode and people lose interest after a season or two. I don't want to be pessimistic, but it's just the truth. And in terms of cross-plat pro clubs, Everyone, whenever I play pro clubs, just moans at the gameplay anyway. Do you know what I mean? They'll do the same thing. It's just now they can moan it with Xbox players as well. I don't want to be pessimistic, boys, but listen. FIFA's FIFA. <laughs> with, whether it's called EAFC or not. Should it get me? But listen. Vamos! Next up, Agent Blaze. Back in Osaka. Okay. Vamos. Another one from Agent Blaze. Bro, you carry these videos. Honestly, Agent Blaze, I'm so, so sorry about this. But thank you so much for the video. Vamos. Some more Marvel, yeah? Diversity, come on. Our favourite Marvel movies. Two and one. So second is Avengers Endgame. Okay, interesting. What a movie. I cried at least five times, I can't lie. What's number one? Infinity War. I back this so much, you know. Honestly, I say this, ah, oh, mate. Mate, I back that so much, you know, honestly. I think Infinity War is the better movie, but Endgame has the better endings, if you get me. Another one from Agent Blaze. I see Lightning McQueen. Ka-chow, ka-chow, ka-chow. I'm never doing that again. Right, 3, 2, 1. Vamos. 2006, you know, Jesus. 2011. Rusty's 2006 17. Jesus Christ. When you really deep it, Lightning McQueen is Ronaldo. Shit. 
Back with another, vamos. Since charges against Mason Greenwood were dropped, here's a thought. If Mason Greenwood was 33 years old, terrible at football, from Croatia and called Mason Greenovic, would you be defending him? Let's just use Lindelof as an example. If this happened to him, no one would be going, oh, get him back in a United shirt. We need to see my star boy innocent till proven. None of it. That's the issue. What he has done is a human level fit. It's got nothing to do with football whatsoever. But his nationality, his age, his ability to play football influences how you lot are reacting. That's why footballers think that they can get away with anything because people will just blindly defend them just because they can kick a ball. Who's going to get the brainwashed Andrew Tate merchant who's like nine years old going, oh, innocent till proven guilty? Like, no. Evidence that is available to see for everyone against this man. Can't have him play football again. You, what does that say to young people about what he has done if he just walks onto the pitch as if nothing's happened? You can't do it. Yeah, I back it completely, 100%. I'm going to be honest. If you're still sitting there back in Mason Greenwood, just leave our club right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I, God give me strength. Vamos! <laughs> That's little Peter Parker, that. Where's Tony? Where's Tony? Tony drops down now. Stands there. Yes! Just uh, Oh, that transition was smooth. Oh, I like that. I like that. I, can I just say, I'm liking the football Marvel diversity in this video so far. Big up you boys. I say you boys. Big up you blades. <laughs> Next up, 3-2-1. Vamos. Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, Ronnie. I love you. Oh, he's a legend. He's always a legend. I love you. He's a legend of this club. Yes, 100%. Yes, 100%. He's the... Okay, my thoughts on Cristiano Ronaldo will always go down as one of the greatest ever players in history, both in future generations, for the older generations ever. He's one of the GOATs, if not the GOAT. For Manchester United, will always go down as a Man United legend, one of the best ever players to don this red shirt. However, the way he went down the second time was a bit bitter. Like, it was a bit bitter. I think a load of people are quick to defend him if... Like the last one said about Greenwood, if Victor Lindelof went out and did that exact same interview, people are calling him loads of names. I do think he gets away with what he said because he's Ronaldo, and I do think a lot of people need to wake up a little bit and be like, what he did was disrespectful to not only us as fans, but the club as well. That being said, he is a GOAT, and big up Ronaldo for a brilliant career. But also, get some respect in your life. Oh, as I'm scrolling for another one, shall I just wind people up? So I just wind a load of people up quickly, yeah? <laughs> Should I just make all of you go mental at me, yeah? Should I do it? What the hell? What did kill the Rashi? I don't care about Ronnie! Ronnie don't care about me! All I care about is MUFC! For those of you who do not understand, that was what we call sarcasm and a joke. Oh, it doesn't matter. People still call me whatever anyway. <laughs> POV, white folks in scary movies. Go. Do be like that. It do be like that, to be fair. It do be like that. No, to be fair, that's not just a white person thing. This is a case of if you got someone staring over your shoulder or something, you fumble things. You know what I mean? It happens to me all the time at work. If someone's like staring over my shoulder or something, can I I'm just getting like, oh my god, they're wanting me to hurry up. I fumble things. Hey! Round of four, everyone, boys. Every single one of you, massive, 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 massive. Thank you. For those of you who don't know what I was applauding there, I've got a TikTok sent in by someone who was not Agent Blaze. So you are the MVP. Right, we're two on panels. Liverpool in the mud. Na 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 na. Scousers in the mud. In the mud. Scousers in the mud. Oh god, okay. 3, 2, 1, go. That's when I remember and I never want to feel it again. 
Honestly, that Villarreal final hurt bad. Obviously, I'm recording this after the um, Newcastle final. I wonder what happened then. Next, 3 2 1, vamos. <laughs> Just Fred in Russian. <gasps> Hang on. So you're telling me Fred kicked the ball that knocked off Rashi's head? It was Fred. Oh, speaking of what happened in the final, 3 2 1, go. Oh, no, no. This Ian Moore shout out is mad. Go. Okay, this is a shout out to Hugo Harley, who is going through a hard time at the moment, Ian. He ejaculated into his sister's corner yogurt, turned his nan's period blood into a tango ice blast slushy and drank it, made a sandcastle out of his uncle's penis smegma and rode a lawnmower over his little brother's pubes and prick stick them onto his head. Hugo ended up getting kicked out of his house and then this resulted in him now living in the toilets of Toys R Us. He also now sexually identifies himself as a gay 32 piece stainless steel cutlery set from Argos and now likes to take pictures of orphans getting changed and sneak into their bathrooms at night and lick the remaining skid marks off the toilet seats. Please help him, Ian. He needs you. Um, basically, mate, I don't know what's going through your head at the moment. I think you need to uh, talk to your family or get some uh, some help from some. You need to get some help from somewhere, mate. Or you can just what? <laughs> when he shows up next, I'll be ready. Go. Darwin Nunez, you cheeky bastard, scoring 18 against Real Madrid. I knew you could. Darwin. Darwin. Darwin, it's, it's really you. Darwin, Darwin, don't, don't go away, Darwin, no. <laughs> what just happened? I'm so confused, what just happened? Last day of school. Oh, that was, that was a little while ago for me, lad. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Last day of school, yeah, that was Oh, that's deep, man. That's deep. My last day of school back in, when was my last day? 20, how old am I now? 22, Jesus Christ. Six years ago, no? When did you leave school? Is it 16? Six years. I right. my last ever day of school. I'm, I'm gonna post a picture right here. A couple of you guys got cropped out on the left-hand side, but big up all of you guys. Never forgotten you lads, man. Never forgotten. Here we go, some knobhead scouser giving it the big one. Three, two, one, go. You know what? I'm going to be honest. Congratulations to Manchester oh. United on winning the Carabao Cup. Okay. But how embarrassing are these celebrations? Oh, okay. You'd swear that you have won the fucking Champions League or something. Right. The Carabao Cup is barely even a real trophy. Okay. Damn it. You have done absolutely nothing yet. Okay. Okay. Now, is that from the same team who last year won the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup and threw a trophy parade? through the streets of Merseyside, yeah? Okay, my bad. Let me know when we do our trophy parade, all right? <laughs> Three, two, one! Vamos! This team is one of the worst Liverpool teams I have ever fucking seen. It is as simple as that. Because week after week, there is nothing in this team. No passion, no heart, no guile, no quality. It's like watching the same game again and again. We have literally went from the best team in the world to getting outplayed by teams like Wolves in the space of six months. I don't even know when we are next going to win a fucking game. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Oh, Paravos, people think Manchester Derby is the biggest derby. Okay, vamos. Psych! That's the wrong. Okay, who is that?
Okay, two things about that. Firstly, that does look really, really cool. And it is one of my goals to go loads of different countries and watch loads of different football matches from different cultures, different continents, different derbies, different everything. Experience different football matches in different places. However, the only reason it's not like that in England because we try to prevent deaths at football matches. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I saw them doing this after the game and I said to my dad, this is the IX dance. Three, two, one, go. Vamos! Oh, pretty one, go! You see you when you close your eyes. Maybe one day you'll understand why. Everything you touch surely dies. Cheers. And you only need the light when it's burning low. You know what? I want to rewind that to one picture in particular, okay? Now, I'm going to move to the left here. This picture right here, Val Vegost just embracing the, uh, like, the Manchester fans inside Wembley, all singing his name, got the scarves flying. People call this a Mickey Mouse trophy. This man has just accomplished his footballing dream by winning a major silver, uh, winning silverware for one of the biggest teams in Europe. You can sit there saying it's a Mickey Mouse trophy you want, whatever. I honestly could not care. Is it the biggest trophy in England? No. But football and football clubs are all about winning trophies. We won a trophy this week and people try and bring us down. Mate, tell that to Vegas that it's just some crappy little trophy, alright? Shut your face. Oh, 3, 2, 1, vamos! My God, just by me. Chills. I see Gingy. Go. I can't. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the. My brother has sent this in. He told me earlier he wanted me to get all of them right, okay? So I'm worried. I don't know how many questions there are, but it's a minute long, so I'm going to say a couple. Anyway, Man United quiz with Rashi. Vamos. Manchester United quiz. Yes. Good luck. Okay. When did Man U last win the FA Cup? 2016 under LVG. That's goal by Jesse Lingard. I've got the kit in there, actually. Vamos. Easy. Light work. Okay, next up. Easy. Oh. When did the Glazers buy Manchester United? It's four or five. Five. I five. Number three. Who did Oh, it's Michael Liverpool. I remember this. Again? Oh! Welcome to Manchester United! Anthony Martial! Four. Which I know my 11, 11, boys. Number 11 is my lucky number. I know the 11. It's Yanazai. Next question. Skulls was 18. Waza was 10. Number 5. What, what year was, was Old Trafford, Trafford opened? opened? It's 9... 1910. <laughs> <Follow>. <laughs> Ball on in sunshine! <laughs> right then, boys. That is it for me. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy if you guys did, smash the like and subscribe if you are new. He will stay here forever, like a shrine, okay? He'll be lauded, all right? Please don't hurt me. It was a mistake and an accident. But that's it for me, boys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Take care. See you next time. And peace.